The Department of Conservation claims it needs to eerily spread 1080 poison to kill plagues of rats. However, their own research demonstrates over and over again that 1080 poison causes rat plagues, not prevents them. Surprisingly, the trapping outperformed the poisoning method, reducing rat tracking indices much faster and keeping them at very low levels for longer than the poisoning method. You're not supposed to set them off without anything in it, apparently. Steve Oates first started trapping this area in 2011. See, that's quite fresh. The records of rats caught are supplied to the Department of Conservation. In October 2013, another aerial poison drop was undertaken to kill the rising number of rats. The Poriora Forest Park has been aerially poisoned many times. Steve Oates is a volunteer trapper for the Department of Conservation. Every three weeks, he checks 80 traps set along the Muramataha stream as part of a blue duck recovery program. Slows it down. The traps run through a repeated aerial 1080 poison drop zone. That one looks another fresh one, doesn't it? Yeah. Ship rat abundance indices increased nearly five-fold after possum control and remained high for up to six years. It takes about five hours to complete the trap line check. Erase eight block baits are used to attract the rats into the traps. Intermittent control of possums and ship rats may have the net effect of increasing ship rats for most of the time. It's important to point out that the traps are not moved to different locations. They remain in the same place week after week. No oh, double rat. Yet the number of rats caught continues to increase. I think we've done pretty well out of this one in the past. 13, two rats last time. 13, two rats the time before. Four months after an effective possum and rat knockdown by a 20,000 hectare aerial 1080 operation over the Tongariro forest, stoats reappeared in the centre of the forest and began killing kiwi chicks. So far, five of the 11 chicks have been predated and all in the centre of the treatment area. <sighs> Reasonable size too. If left to breed unchecked, a single rat can have as many as 2,000 descendants in a year. There are three types of rat in New Zealand. The Kiori is a native rat and has been present for over 700 years. The interaction between pest species is poorly understood. For example, rodent numbers sometimes increase following possum control operations which may lead to an increase in stoat populations and a consequent decrease through predation of some bird populations. We do even get them darker than that, but I don't know why. But that one's not even, not even light underneath, it's pretty much uniform colour. Maybe it's just uh, the environment perhaps, although they're not that far apart, were they? Well, I pretty similar. That, that darker one perhaps was eating blackbirds and this one may be eating whiteheads. <laughs> well, yep. That's what it was. Now, 18 months after the initial 1080 operation, possum numbers remain low, but rat numbers have increased to higher levels than prior to baiting and compared with sites that weren't poisoned. I'll well, put it this way. The, the, the month you checked before the aerial drop, and then there was an aerial drop, yep. and then the month after, what was the difference? Well, I'll probably have that here. 15th of the 9th, we got 49 rats, Three weeks later, 20 rats. And when you say three weeks later, that was before the drop? That was, there was part before and part after the drop, we got 20 rats. Because, yeah. because the traps had been set before the poison. So we'd obviously caught a few before the poison and then they got to have a chance to eat it and die. And then on the 20th of the 10th, we got nothing. So the 1080 killed the rats. So, so we got indicate, no, would indicate that, wouldn't it? There was a good impact. Oh yes, yeah. The reduction in rats, the main prey of stoats, may lead to an increase in stoat predations on birds. But then five weeks later, um, five rats stoat and a rabbit. Okay. February seventeen rats, two weasels and a cat. And then by March. March twenty four rats, weasel stoat. It's good to note though that the poison drop 
appears to work. We get a zero knockdown yep. on your trap results. So the 1080 does work. We, you wouldn't argue with that. That's right, it kills rats. But it, it, and it seems to work for about two months. It's all very well to 1080, but you've got to have something to keep it down. Not let them come back. And Just 1080 it, it again. Well, you've got to do it every two months. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Mm. You know, it'd be cheaper to put more traps in than 1080 every two months, wouldn't it? Steve's trapping line shows, once again, that 1080 poison is not effective at keeping rat numbers down. Soon after the 2013 poison drop, the rat population started to increase and continues to do so, despite the breeding stock being killed every three weeks. Research has demonstrated over and over again that eerily poisoning rats with 1080 poison causes their populations to rapidly build and go on to exceed pre-poisoned levels shortly after application. The Department of Conservation is increasing their aerial poisoning operations despite this fact.